Okay, so what I've got here is a bunch of sound files that don't really have much metadata in them. I'm looking at them inside Reaper. So what I'm going to do is just right click and make a database from the folder. And you can see there's no titles, descriptions, comments. I happen to have some stuff like album and genre. Anyway, let's swap back to Soundminer here. We'll just, why don't we copy the file name? Um, yeah, let's do this. We'll do that. We'll call up the workflows. We're going to um, copy field. We'll copy file name to description. And then we're going to add and remove four characters from the end of description. That's just to get rid of the extension that's on the end there. Um, we may as well, we could batch set some other stuff as well. Um, we can set field, we can do artist. Anyway, this will just be a little test. I'm not, I'm not quite sure of all the, uh, the mappings to the Reaper fields. I know I've spent some time on it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in the documentation, but we'll give this a go anyway. So I'm going to run it. And then of course I have to embed it. I could have also done a embed action. Oh, it's not in this build. Anyway, okay, that's all right. We'll just embed selected. So it goes through, does its thing. Swap back to Reaper. And now I'll just scan the database with new files and re read the metadata. And you can see it's filled in. This is the artist. It's added that to the end, the comment. Um, so yeah, there's a, a real quick way for you to just batch set and embed everything, and just goes to show that metadata that you embed inside SoundMire does show up in other applications.